Hey folks, this is Keith at Don Redwood Groves and uh, we're continuing working on this timber frame edition. I uh, got uh, some rainy days here so we've been playing in some mud. I'm not sure exactly uh, how much the videos are coming out but we'll keep on moving forward and hopefully they come out pretty decent. Show you where we are and uh, what I've ran into. Stick with me. So we got the first section um, up and uh, all tied in. I have to put a couple across the ports. Uh, or diagonal supports for these but uh, they're all interlocked in I've uh, keyed them in so that uh, these two are tied in and uh, actually same up there you can see tied in and then cross support locked in so I've got this section done and today what I'm working on um, I have these two posts uh, kind of in position and what I've used is uh, for my reference point to try to keep this parallel to the barn is I've tried to keep this side the um, same distance from the trim and then from this point to this reference point the same dimension um, hopefully that'll get me pretty parallel to the building so when we're getting everything Put the roof trusses on um, the roof can line up because I'm going to get the same roof so hopefully uh, the same pattern everything will fit right in there nice so what we're doing today is uh, I've got this support and I've notched it um, for these two beams and uh, what we're going to get ready to do is grab the tractor and bring it up and uh, try to get them tied in there uh, hopefully everything's pretty decent uh, this we've gotten uh, three inches of rain in probably the last two days and these logs or timbers I should say are pretty soaked so trying to burn them um, is causing some grief because they just got so much moisture in them so what I'm doing today is I'm burning the sections that are interlocking and the other section is going to be too close to the building uh, metal building just trying to keep the flame away from that and uh, one of the things I noticed with these torches, if anybody's trying to do this, um, these little 20 pound tanks, keep an eye on them when you're running them. I was running it really long uh, the other day and well, you can even still see, I think right here, yeah, this is still uh, frosted up just from running that. Um, I don't think that's a, a very safe situation. So be careful if you're gonna be doing this. Um, I saw it, I was starting to lose uh, power the flame and uh, it was frosting all up and I just turned it off put it aside and let it warm or cool back down or warm back down I guess because what's happening is the thermal from changing from a liquid to a gas to burn is happening so much that the tank is freezing so um, just a something that I noticed and careful if you guys are using it so what we're gonna do again grab this this cross port pull it up and tie it into these two. Stick with me, let's get the tractor running.
it's mostly in. Uh, Lisa's positioned good. Uh, trick is to put the clamp on the top. I screwed up again. I put it on the bottom, you see. And if you don't have it quite in, um, it'll want to roll out. But at least on the top, it'll hold it. If you get it pounded in a little bit, it at least stays up there, it doesn't fall. You don't have to worry about uh, holding that beam up or whatever, and then also trying to pick up a clamp off the floor. So let's see if we can get this thing completely in and get it fastened. Hey folks, that's gonna be it for today. I got those uh, two posts in and a cross beam in. I'm pretty happy with that. I tied it in. I don't know if you can see in the background there, right there. I got a board tied in. Uh, just keep it so that it's a little stable. Um, this post, I don't know if you saw when I was trying to beat it, it started wiggling really bad. And the problem with that was um, <laughs> the stake broke in the ground. So I had to put a new stake in it and hope everything got in there. So it's uh, pretty decent right now. Um, I have these two um, beams that I got to put in. And uh, then I can start putting the um, rafters in, and then purlins and roof, and we're uh, this timber frame is will be done. So, folks, if you like, uh, give me that thumbs up. If you haven't hit subscribe, I appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe, share with a friend, um, leave it a comment. Uh, things you like to see, things you think I'm doing wrong, whatever. I uh, greatly appreciate it. Feedback would be really appreciated. So, you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.